I say yo, whoa. welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk yeah. battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. And the topic today is battle rap. More importantly, Ultimate Madness 5 was last night, you feel me? And honestly, the biggest battle, not the biggest, the best battle in the most controversial battle, you feel me? Has been Trufo versus Geechee Gotti, you feel me? Now, or first watch, left before that. Going into the battle, I had Geechee Gotti winning, honestly. He's been the three-time champion of the year. He's arguably the best in battle rap right now, you feel me? And then he's going up against Trufo. And then he won a tournament last year. And then he's going up against Trufo. Trufo is really good, but he had a few slip-ups, you feel me? Um, his royalty battle on the right, he had mad slip-ups. Um... He beat Drugs in Midnight Madness, but he wasn't that scary. Some people think Drugs should have won that. So Geechee was easily the favorite going into this, right? So boom. First round, it was very debatable. I ain't gonna lie, first round was debatable. First round was very, very debatable. Second round, True for won, clearly. Third round, Geechee Gotti won. Now, the judges gave it 2-2. Two, two. You feel me? One of them had, I think Calico had Trufo, Jonja had Trufo, I think Quest had Trufo, and Polo had Geechee. Um, they went to the fan votes, and Trufo won the fan votes. Now, this is easily the biggest win of his career. Easily. You feel me? The question is, is a star being born right now? Now, he put up his Midnight Madness belt. You feel me? And then it's in a tournament for 100000 And he just beat Geechee Gotti in the first round. That's a big deal. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was thinking about this. Like, KCJ last year went far in the tournament. And then we see where she's at this year. Like, you want to look back at the tournament and say that's what kicked it off for KCJ to go on this great run. Whether you think she's winning battles or not, KCJ is a way bigger star this year than she was last year thanks to the tournament. I feel like true folk could calculate off of that the same exact way. I'm not going to lie. Like, you just beat Geechee Gotti, a three-time champion of the year in the first round in a judge battle. Like, bro, that's a big deal, bro. I'm not going to lie. That's a big deal. You, that's a very big deal, bro. You just beat Geechee Gotti in the first round. You feel me? Like, you should definitely go up from here. You should be on caffeine, all of that. Like, that's a very, even if you lose the Midnight Madness belt and whatever, you that's a big win. I'm not going to lie. Next, he got She Happens. You feel me? This is crazy because I think they battled in a UN3 tournament. You feel me? Um, she Happens was okay against none, none. This is another debatable battle. I felt like She Happens was way more creative. And this was bad because She Happens and none and battled already. So, none of them won the first one, so she happens to have way more to talk about after losing. Um, she happens won, you feel me? All the battle rap judges thought he won. Um, I got true for winning this. Gangsta, true for you cannot be Geechee Gotti and lose to She Happens. I ain't gonna hold you. I know y'all already battled, but you can't lose to She Happens after just being Geechee Gotti and retaining your belt. You just can't do that. I ain't gonna hold you. That's a very bad look to me. That's a very bad look. But, like, if Trufo goes on a crazy run, we're going to look back at this and say this is what led to his crazy run, in my opinion. Like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. I'll be back with more.